Hello, Gemini. Let's get into your February reading and see what energies are, are circling around you like the vultures. What's going on? <laughs> it's been a silly long day. I'm close to the end. And uh, that's exciting for me. I used to have a tarot site in 2019. And then in with the mix of the pandemic is that I lost several, several um, family members to COVID. So I've got a lot of spirits now. So I'm back and I'm doing what I love. And so let's, let's start this thing over. Cause I, I took the other site down cause um, it wasn't me anymore. So we all change. We all have to open up for change. Okay. So let's uh, let's start this reading. I'm gonna pull up your cards here and your energies over here of what's around you. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. Okay, one more time. See what we got here. All right, let's see what we got here. Three of Wands, Two of Wands, Five of Cups. Something that um, you were looking at set you back a little bit because it was something that you couldn't reach, or you felt like you couldn't reach it. Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles Reverse, Seven of Pentacles. Um, an offer was made of love. The Five of Pentacles. It's like leaving something out in the cold, but no, it's not. It's bringing you back in. So maybe, how can you leave something out in the cold and then bring it back in if you didn't know this person? But I think you knew this I think you knew this. I think you knew the situation. But it left you just looking at your uh, pentacles, just looking at your money, just looking at what you have. I don't know if you're rejecting this offer yet, but you're, um, I get, I sense a sense of familiarity, Gemini. Okay. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords. Okay, so uh, equal give and take. Um, nothing but the facts. Very, very stern. Very, um, and Five of Swords. Something's taken away. Okay, so yeah, you, you know this person, and there wasn't an equal uh, give and take. There was something that was not given, and they came in with a very forceful energy, and they took something away. It wasn't fair, whatever it was. It wasn't fair. What is this? This is the tower upside down. So this, so there was a tower moment and all the options were taken away and the fool card, you became reckless and this is the knight of swords and it was fast. It all happened so fast. Everything happened fast. Hmm. I'm sorry. Okay. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. 
Plus Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, Death Card Transformation, Eight of Swords, Four of Cups, Hangman. So whatever this energy was, you thought it was going to give you everything you needed, everything you wanted, but it was just stripped and taken away. Okay, let's see what the other side says. Okay, hang on, let's shuffle the deck. Gemini, and man, I've had some really deep, deep, deep readings today. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, nope, 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 not feeling it. Wait, sorry. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Bottom of the deck, hangman. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Devil energy. Okay. Queen of Swords. Nine of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Three of Swords. Eight of Wands. Nine of Swords reverse. Ten of Swords. Five priestess. Wow. Okay. <sighs> A Gemini. I think you're dealing with a water sign. You know, we've got the Queen of Cups and then we've got the Devil here. Scorpio, Cancer. So anyway, here's the Queen of Cups um, dealing with temptation. I'm going to say temptation. And it's the Nine of Wands. This is the your person's energy. I'm feeling that they, they were a water sign. And... Somebody wanted to hold on to something because they felt that it was their nine of cups, but there was a third party and all this information came to you, which put, uh, which put them, I'm getting the, the, the pronouns wrong, but I'm feeling oh, but now you're in high priestess energy. I'm feeling that this person came in and had, you know those relationships where they um, just kind of put you on a shelf and they take you down, put you on a shelf, take you down. And it's not consistent, you know, it's consistent love, but it is or consistent attention, but when they don't want to talk to you, they don't want to talk to you, so they put you on the shelf. That's uh, kind of narcissistic or controlling behavior, and I think that that's what this person did. Because we got the Four of Pentacles, and then we've got the Nine of Wands. Now, Four of Pentacles is holding on to something. Nine of Wands is trapped within yourself. So I'm thinking that this person had very controlling issues. And because we also have the devil energy here. 
Now we've got the Nine of Cups, which is kind of like a wish fulfillment. One more would be like the Ten of Cups. And did we have the Ten of Cups up here? No, we didn't. But it'd be like kind of a narcissistic kind of love. Because then we've got the Three of Swords here. You know, so you're kind of trapped in this, you know, these two worlds of like your freedom and the freedom that you're allowed within your head because you want to please this person. That's what I'm feeling because we've got this nine of cups here. You feel like you've got everything, but this person is still making you feel trapped and they have another person on the side. And the third person could even be their ego, not necessarily a physical person, because I don't see another queen on here. I see a high priestess in the end. So, you know, that could be their ego, too. So I'm. there's a lot of information that comes flying in. I mean, it comes, I mean, this is like on super train flying in. Here you have that nine of swords. And then here you have the Ten of Swords. So I don't think you believe the information when it first comes in. And then it'll hit you like a Ten of Swords. I mean, it'll hit. Bomb. You're done. And I'm thinking you walk away as a high priestess. I think you walk away as a high priestess where you are just, okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to be an adult and I'm not going to take in this energy anymore. That's what I think what happens is that you decide, I'm not taking this energy. No, that's that person. That person is responsible for them. I'm tired of this third party energy. And it could be their third party energy is their ego. You're, you're tired of, of being trapped in the ideal, you know, body, the ideal job, the ideal of everything that this person needs you to be in order to give them the, oh, what is it? Like the blueprint of the perfect life, I guess. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's see what the shared energy is, Gemini. Wow. That's, I haven't seen a reading like that in a long time. I really haven't. And that nine of wands and four of pentacles is like hanging on and trapped. That is, ooh, that's heavy. That's real heavy. But I'm very happy that you're going to see it. It's going to come at you through emails, text messages. Somehow it's going to come at you. All right. But just, just remember is that you don't need to uh, make unhealthy decisions for yourself. It is that just, you know, the full energy in reverse is kind of sporadic, erratic. You don't need to be erratic. You don't. It'll, it'll all work out. Okay, one more. Just one more. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's see what these shared energies are. I hope you're... <laughs> I hope the cards tell us something good. I, I, I'm making myself laugh. I'm sorry. One. comes out again. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, three of hearts reverse. Uh, four of cups. King of wands. 
Two of Cups, Eight of Swords, Five of Wands Reverse, and the Fool card. Okay, so, yeah, it's... It's someone's ego. See, to me, when you look at this, this three of swords reverse and then this cup going towards you, it's not like the person is coming towards you. It's their ego. They're offering... Um, It's not a true offer. It's it's just you are you're so beautiful, you're so handsome, you're so striking. And then having you next to them is a you make them look good. That's what I'm saying. And then in here is that here is the wands and the two of cups. So they're still coming in as this king of wands and this um this earth energy this capricorn uh virgo uh leo energy they're coming in with all this lovey dovey dovey stuff but it's their it's not real because you see it as a trap and you see you know what was fighting, not fighting, but arguing or, or, um, obstacles. You, you're just saying that this person is just too complicated and you're going for non-complicated Gemini and you're going off in the fool. You're taking a fool. You were upside down. You see it clearly and, and you know, this isn't good for you. This is all, this is being in a relationship with someone's ego. I don't think it's a, a Capricorn, Virgo. <laughs> no, what is it? Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo. But Leo just sounds good in there too because Leo, Leo has a big ego. Yeah. Okay. I've got something good for you. Okay, so these are my literary... I just got them. My witches, my literary witches. And I love how they describe witches as manifestors, as writers, as artists. And it makes so much sense because, you know, our, our movie moguls, they describe witches as, you know, they have these evil, dark, uh, they can conjure things up and, um, well, a writer can conjure things up. An artist can conjure things up. And anyway, that's my new love. I love these cards. Anyway, I did shuffle these cards earlier. I don't want to bend them too much, so I'm just going to do this because I'm, I really want to protect these cards. These cards are just so beautiful, and you'll see why. Okay, so here we go. What I have for you. Oh, of course... This is called Rebellion. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Farokazad? Rebellion. I, I cannot pronounce her last name, but I want to read what this woman is famous for. Farokazad. It's... Uh, I learn as you learn, and I like that. Independence. She represents independence, barriers, isolation. Faro, Faro Kazad, 1935 to 1967, wrote sensual nature, na uh, wrote sensual, nature-rich poetry placing her among Iran's greatest poets, heavily criticized for resisting societal norms. Farokhzad divorced at 21 years old and was the first Persian poet to write explicitly about sexuality. Oh my gosh, she was Persian. 
Working as a documentary filmmaker, check out the awards, winning the House is Black, and adopted a son from a leper colony. Some believe that she is prophesied for her accidental early death in a car crash in the poem, Let Us Believe in the Beginning of the Cold Season. Wow. Okay. That's a hero of the month for you, Baroque Zad. Look her up. No, oh, I love this. I love that deck. Okay. So my other favorite thing, I know I'm taking too long. You're already at 20 minutes and I'm just chatty, chatty, Kathy. I like the Dark Knight of the Soul work and we have um, some Oracle cards and I'd like to present a word to you for your study for the month of February. It's called codependence. This is a relationship addiction. You are re relying too heavy on the other person for your sense of self-worth. Give yourself more love. Be rebellious. All right, Gemini. I don't have anything else for you. But I think that you you understand. You end up as, you know, the high priestess in this. And you walk away from this ego. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right, male or female. I know my gaze out there. You, I, I, I get it. I totally get it. It's, it's so hard. Okay. Love you all. Take care. Cheers.